Hello everyone, welcome to 3dedesignacademy.com. In this lesson, we will learn about the polyline tool within the Keypoint Curved Toolbox. So in order to access the tool, all you have to do uh, is go to Curves and Keypoint Curved Toolbox and underline, click and hold, and you'll be, ac uh, you'll be able to access the tool over here. So all you have to do is go to a modeling window like this and just click on the modeling window wherever you need the curve to be. Okay, so a few things about the polyline curve. So if you look at, if you click as an object and go to information window, you will see that the, you can actually control each of uh, the attributes of all the lines. Um, but do note that this is actually a single curve with a single span, uh, one degree and multiple span curve. So let's say you want to adjust this, you can adjust the length like this. Let's say I want to make it 500 mils. You'll see that this is adjusted and this will also follow. So if I just adjust the second one, let's say I make it a 700 mil, you'll see that this line also adjusts accordingly. Now the angle is dependent upon the, the horizontal axis in which you start with. So uh, you'll notice that this uh, has a 331 degrees. So what that is, uh, actually, let me just make it a whole number, 330. So what it is actually measuring is, if you rotate this, uh, basically it's measuring this angle. So this is going to be 330 degrees. Now the second line is referenced. So if I go here and let me just make it a 20 degrees just for simply to sake. What it's measuring is so from this angle, it uh, basically it's using this curve as a reference of this horizontal uh, curve or horizontal plane. And basically it's measuring this angle. So let me just show you what I mean. So if I just measure this and click here, click here, here, and this is 20, uh, 20 degrees. So this is how you can adjust it. So let's say you want a whole number. You can just uh, change this to 700. And let's say you want the third line to be a whole number. And so maybe 739, maybe you want a 750. And you want the uh, angle to be, let's say, well, instead of 330, let me just change to, to 70 and it's going to go straight up like this. And let's say you want to, right now, uh, you'll see that the angle is dependent upon this horizontal angle, uh, horizontal plane. Now, this also depends on the modeling window. So let's say right now I'm in a side view, but let's say I go to rear view and I try to do a polling line again. I'll just click a few, uh, few places like this. You'll see that the horizontal, uh, the, right now the reference point is this horizontal plane right here. So if I just make it zero, it's just going to go horizontal. And right now the second one is about 30 degrees down from the, uh, well, this is actually the Y axis, but horizontal plane over here. Okay. So uh, one thing to note, because of this is actually a single degree multiple span curve, you gotta be careful when you're actually trying to create the surfaces with it. Now, uh, I think I've uh, gone over this a few times with other tools, but let's, uh, let me just repeat this. So let's say I create a line and I just want to create a surface based on this. And let me just do, uh, get rid of the guidelines like this. And I try to do a rail like that. It's going to create a, as you can see over here, it's a single degree multiple span surface. So if you were to, let's say you wanted to put a fillet here, you actually can't because it's a single surface. So in this case, what you have to do is either you have to create separate surf, uh, separate curves like this. So I actually, you know what, let me just do it over here like that. So that I got two curves and let me just hide this for a second. And you can just use a rail based on this separated curve over here. So like this, like that, and you'll be able to put a fillet here. Let me just say, well, let's say a quarter length of 100 like this, and you'll be able to put a fillet here. Or if you're just making a straight surface, it didn't have any crown, you can always use the draft tool. 
and let me just point it this way and I'm going to make the length a little bit longer so let's say 500 mils now each surface is separated so if you were to put a fillet here you can as such now I don't know why it does this but this is how this tool works now because it's a uh, everything's um, because it's a key point curve toolbox tool as long as the history is not deleted or you do you don't do any like extension like this you can always uh the parameters are there so you only have to do is just go to information window and edit all of this uh dimension so it looks like right now it's um actually displaying zero, zero degrees so all you have to just go back to, to the side view and it should uh have all the dimensions and the degrees that you need okay so that's the polyline tool thank you guys for watching and see you next time